I'm with Jerry Sarge, and today we're in historic Owego at a very historic home. Jerry, where are we? John, say we're at 325 Front Street in Owego. This is a beauty. beautiful home built in 1890, um, just under 3,000 square feet. It's like just like a new house here. I mean, it's just gorgeous. It is beautiful. They've done a lot of nice updates without losing any of the original charm of the house. Now the roof looks like it's reasonably new. The driveway is nicely paved, a lot of parking space, and the garage is in excellent condition out back. I love the backyard. It is a very large backyard for living in town. Well, that's a nice place to sit and watch the world go by here in Owego, New York. Let's go in and take a look at this historic home. All right, let's check it out. John, here we are in the foyer of this lovely home. You can see the beautiful oak floors that go through the entire house. Um, the details on the banister are just really lovely. Oh yeah, this newel post is gorgeous. All that carved wood. And there's examples everywhere of the 1800s. These fluted moldings here at the threshold with these corner pieces here. That's all indicative of the 1800s. And once you get into the 1900s, they start changing all of these doorways mm -hmm. and the windows. Um, beautiful oak floors. It's hard to say if they're original or not because a lot of times you would find pine floors in this vintage of home. But they could have changed it in the 20s or the teens, whatever. We're in this large living room, a lot of windows, and notice the pattern on the oak floors. It's just beautiful. It kind of separates the space in case you want to arrange your furniture that way. Um, and over on the side, you have the brick fireplace. And John, off the living room, you walk into this dining room. As you can see, it's a nice sized room. Gives you a place for an expansive table if you'd like. Nice, nice little details here with the, uh, the built-ins and the leaded mm -hmm. glass, the built-in uh, drawers here. That's very nice. Yep. And off the dining room is a half bath. This kitchen, all been redone. Beautiful hardwood floors, Corian countertops, stainless steel appliances. I love these cabinets. And again, it's a nice bright room. You get a lot of sunlight. And six panel doors, mm -hmm. really in great shape. You don't have to spend a dime coming into this house. And John, also off the kitchen is a first floor family room. A great place to lounge and right off from it is the laundry room. John, you'll enjoy seeing the second floor in this house. It's a little sitting area here at the top. It goes out to the, the deck, the little balcony that you can see from outside. And there's five bedrooms up here. So, John, the bedrooms are all good size. They're currently using one as an office. This bathroom, the common bathroom, is a Hollywood bath. It does connect to the bedroom, which is nice if you have guests over. John, this is a nice, unique master bedroom. It has wainscoting on the walls and the ceiling. It's very nice, pleasant atmosphere. Right, it used to be like a sunroom. I mean, look at all the windows. Lots in there. of windows. It's a beautiful room, and you have a full bathroom. Again, it's nice, been nicely updated. Nice big bath, and also, again, more of these uh, newer six-panel doors like in the kitchen. A couple more common features of these old historic homes are the walk-up attic and the butler staircase that heads back down to the kitchen. The backyard of this place is just gorgeous. We've got a two-car garage, but that lot goes all the way back to that building back there. So. That could be your soccer field. Absolutely. You can add an in-ground pool. You have plenty of space. Jerry, how many square feet in this house? Just under 3,000, John. No, we're built in 1890. Yes. Five bedrooms, mm -hmm. two and a half baths. Two and a half baths, yep. Living room, dining room, kitchen. Nicely updated. I like that Replacement family room. Replacement windows as well. And I like the family room. We're just walking distance from historical downtown Owego, plenty of shops and dining. A lot of fun. I like Owego. 
Jerry, thank you for joining me on the show today. It's a great house and it won't last long. Thanks, John. Now, this house is listed for $249,900. Yes. How can somebody see it? If they'd like to tour the house, they can give me a call, Jerry Sarge at 607-760-1995. Thank you, Jerry.